Leading on to regulation, every year regulation continues to become more prescriptive. For the accounting profession, how does your quality control framework assist you in managing changes to standards and legislation? Um, we have our yeah, we have a quality control framework and we readdress that on a regular basis. So, you know, we're often looking at it and how our procedures are. So if there's new standards come out, we have a look at what, how they're going to impact our practice, what changes we're going to need to put into place, and so therefore how that's going to change our procedures and, and policies within our practice. And so it gets addressed each time changes happen, and it's more and more often. Mm. <laughs> um, so it's something that is probably more an agenda item on meetings on a regular basis now, um, that we actually do look at it and do see how we're going to how are we going to put that into our practice? What is a practical effect of it? But that's yeah. a really good point that you make there, Margot, that it's an agenda item. Yeah. Instead of it becoming something that is, is huge and something that might take a huge amount of time from the principles in the practice working on to develop from scratch, having those policies and procedures in place means that it is just an agenda item that's regularly maintained and regularly viewed. So you're, you're constantly making little changes rather than it being a huge mm. impost on your practice at that particular point in time. It's better to attack things in little bites. You mm. know, we had three years for the exemption. You know, everyone needed, you need to take the steps and do the things as you can mm. and slot them in, in in our busy practices. So yeah, it has to be an agenda item. You have to look at what is coming up, what's the next thing that is about to change, what do, how do we address that? How does CPA Australia help you with that? Often with the emails, we're, we're alerted um, through regular correspondence. So I know I get quite a lot of emails from CPA and the CPA updates. Um, so you can be alerted that something is about to change or um, it might even be a year away, but you know it's coming. So, you, and often they have the PD as well on that particular um, item and you... So we use the resources that are available to us. So for example, we do go out in CPA update. Quite often, more often than not, there is an element there that is specifically related to our public practitioners, in particular quality review as well. We also have a lot of articles within In Practice or in the Black Magazine, as well as our tools and resources that are on our website. But we are constantly looking for touch points with our membership to get across messages with an ample amount of time for our practitioners to prepare to institute changes that might be coming up. So those particular forms of correspondence, although some might not be necessarily relevant to all elements of your practice, it's definitely something worth keeping abreast of because that's where it'll be highlighted to our practitioners that there are changes afoot and that our practitioners need to be across what those particular changes are if they relate to the services that they're offering. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. Look, I think the, the hyperlink style of the CPA uh, tax or the CPA updates where it does effectively hyperlink straight into the website also encourages practitioners to be looking at other areas within that sector of the website within public practice but also an important element of the quality control manual and the risk management framework governed by the professional standards is that it is regularly reviewed it isn't a document just to leave sitting on the shelf or sitting on the server that no one looks at and I think the concept yeah. of an agenda item at uh, partners meetings or on a some type of on business uh, case is, is an excellent approach because then you are regularly reviewing it and more importantly you've got evidence to suggest that you are regularly reviewing it and fr certainly from a quality uh, assurance point of view and the review process it is one of the things that uh, we look at as reviewers to see that the actual manuals are reviewed on a regular basis and that they are kept in line with the practice. There might be many sole practitioners watching this particular episode saying that's all well and good Mark but I'm a sole practitioner with potentially one staff member or an administration staff member. Why do I need a set of quality control procedures? Why do I need a risk management process? Surely everything rests with me. How would you respond to that? And maybe take the position of, of looking at it from a succession planning point of view. Absolutely, certainly from a succession planning point of view, whether it be mandatory, uh, whether it be planned or unplanned. 
Um, certainly from a sole practitioner point of view, uh, sickness, ill health, accident can uh, alter the opportunity to be able to practice on a regular or full-time basis. They may need somebody to come into their practice, they may have staff that need to step up. At least it provides them guidelines and it provides almost like a pro procedural aspect as to how, how things are done within the practice that they may not have been fully aware of. It also probably allows them to step up and actually understand why they're doing certain things, you know, and whether that be from a client perspective or whether it be from a regu regulatory perspective, but at least they actually have that understanding. I could take the alternate and say that the actual professional standards which are mandatory do actually require these um, this information to be documented, which is all part of the approach. But I think what is important is that by having it documented, at least it gives the practitioner, whether, it, whether it's themselves solely or whether they do have a couple of staff, it certainly gives them guidelines and certainly gives them something to refer back to. And as we discussed earlier, if they're altering the direction of their practice, mm -hmm. it almost becomes a, a viewpoint and, and consideration as to which way they should head and what you know, some of the areas they should consider. Great response.